Deadpool number 287 by Jerry Duggan and Scott Koblish. Cable lies in a pool of blood while his arms AI injects pure adrenaline into him. Swiping at him from the darkness is the real Deadpool he knows, not the Avenger. He calls for Trista and Bell hits Wade with a massive burst of energy. He keeps the former member of the Unity Squad enveloped in a pain stasis while he hobbles away to recharge. Once he's out of range, Deadpool falls to the ground, gets up and follows the trail of blood. Shooting up a newspaper stand on the way, he walks into the hospital blasting. While injuring scores of people along the way, Cable hits him with an air tank, scaring patients and doctors alike. Cable wants to know why he's trying to kill him again, and after a quick Marvel Legacy joke, the fight goes on. He tells Wade that he'd warned Captain America, but according to Deadpool, it's all Cap's fault. He hits an MRI machine and disables Cable's body jump. Deadpool pulls out a carbon-free katana blade and swipes down on Cable's arm, severing it. With a blow ready that would certainly decapitate him, he's suddenly frozen. Time officers have popped in thinking Cable is actually his evil clone Strife. They arrest him and as they teleport him away, Deadpool whiffs the sword hard into the air. Suddenly the hospital phone rings and it's the real Strife, the time-jumping gangster who goaded Deadpool into this kill list in the first place. He tells him that he still has all the tools. Wade picks up Cable's bionic arm and stabs his sword through a door. He uses it to sever his own arm and orders his own little demonic AI to incapacitate Bell. He attaches the arm to his own socket and prepares to time jump. Deadpool's coming for Cable, but we're going to have to wait as this issue is left to be continued. Say what? Was that the best issue of Deadpool I've ever read? Is it just me or has Marvel Legacy just pulled Wade back to where he's supposed to be? If the Merc with a mouth rides the fence of good versus evil, I prefer him to be a little on the evil side. Face it, it was never a good idea to make Deadpool a good guy for this long. Props to Jerry Duggan for taking the training wheels off again. I'm pretty stoked for the future here. I give this one a 10 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it spending several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook and Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the nerdiest kid you know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.